Hello, hello, everybody. I am so sorry I'm a few minutes late. I uh, have kids here, grandkids here, and um, a lot going on today. I feel like um, that John Lennon song, So This Is Christmas. Well, this is Christmas. No makeup, my hair is disheveled, my old ratty Ohio State t-shirt. This is me. <laughs> so I apologize, but that's what you get today because it's Christmas. Hi, D. Nice to see you. I was waiting. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I posted in there that I'd be just a couple minutes late. Apologize. Hey, good afternoon. Hi, Amy and Anna. Nice to see you guys. I'm so sorry you had to wait. Um, it's just, it's just today. It's, I have four kids here, um, and I'm trying to do crafts with them, and I was trying to finish this bag this morning so that I could do this live tonight and it was just a little hairy so my apologies let me go ahead and pull us up here it's I have four kids so sorry about that all right hi Barbara good to see ya all right I'm gonna play the intro and uh just for the sake of replay but and then we will get right on with our conclusion to the sew along All right, so a lot of you always say, you make it look so easy. Well, guess what? You're not going to think that. <laughs> You're not going to think that after today because I made some mistakes. And instead of, you know, re-editing and doing it, I left them in because I think it's important that you know that everybody makes mistakes and it's okay to just fix them. So I left them in. Some pretty funny ones, actually. Here's my finished bag. It is gorgeous. I love it. Um, Anna's going to love it. She's an aspiring little musician, so she's really going to love this bag. Um, I did redo the zipper thing that I didn't think was neat enough. I have my insides here with a slip pocket on one side. Very neat and nice. And um, yeah, you're going to see some goofy things that I did. And I did some ripping today, but that's how it is. And I tell you, I don't think I've ever made a bag without having to do that. So, because some of it is so like, you can't wrap your brain around what side you're actually working on. So um, it's real important that you take your time and also just don't be afraid to rip. That's what seam rippers are for. All right, so I'm gonna get right on with it. So the first thing we were doing is making the interior pocket. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to um, sew across the top and bottom of the interior slip pocket and we're going to use a half inch seam allowance. Now what we're going to do is we're going to trim these um, seam allowances down to about a quarter of an inch. If you hear kids in the background, it's because I have my grandchildren here today. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go ahead and turn this right side out. And 
and then we're going to go ahead and press it. We're going to go ahead and press this really well. And what we're going to do then is we're going to top stitch across the top and then we're going to sew the bottom onto the interior panel. Okay, we're just going to top stitch across the top. And then the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take one of the interior panels and we're just gonna line that up just a little ways up from the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and top stitch that in place as well. Now we can, just using a basting stitch, um, I'll just make it a nice big long one, just go ahead and baste these to the edges because they're going to get caught up as we sew the panel together. But just to, just to make sure that they stay where they need to be, just go ahead and baste them in place. Because they're going to get caught up in the side seams. Next, we're going to assemble the inner panel together. All right, do you see where already what, where I went wrong? <laughs> I sewed the pocket. It was really going to be a hidden pocket. So um, from there on, you're going to see that, uh, yeah, I, I messed that up royally. But anyway, I see some other people are from Ohio and Michigan. Hello. I am in Toledo, actually Perrysburg, if you know where that is, um, right where Ohio Turnpike meets I-75. That's where I live. It's like a half a mile from here. <laughs> so, yep. All righty. So I'm, now you're going to see how I fixed that mistake. <laughs> Okay, now right side out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sew the side seams and the bottom of both of, the, of these two panels. So they're, they were right sides together, <laughs> ah, right sides together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a half inch seam allowance. There's a magnificent Lego kingdom being built in the other room. <laughs> I love seeing what they come up with. Okay. My daughter had a lot of Christmas things to get done, so they're crafting with me today and tomorrow. So I'm excited. They have their list of crafts. And this one was on my list. And down the other side. Just like, basically like we did to the exterior. Okay. 
go ahead and trim the seam allowance down to a quarter of an inch. Yeah, a lot of layers to cut through there on the sides because of the pocket. <clears throat> I did notice too, uh, basically you can get the purse out of two fat quarters, one um, exterior fabric and one interior fabric. I um, ran out of the interior fabric only because I made a mistake. <laughs> if I hadn't made a mistake, I would have had plenty to, uh, to get it out of two fat quarters, but I had some similar fabric, so I just used that. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and just like we did on the outside, we're going to sew across those corners. Let's go ahead and get them out like that. And we're just going to half inch seam allowance. And we're just going to sew across those corners. That uh, bulk there with the pocket has made it a little hard, so I just use my hump jumper and it glides right through. It's a miracle, I'm telling you, these are a miracle. Okay, all right, we're gonna trim those seams down. And this is taking shape. Okay, so I'm ripping out the side seams because look where I put my pocket. Yeah, it isn't very accessible that way. It's a hidden pocket. <laughs> so I'm being real with y'all. So I'm ripping this out and we'll be putting that pocket back on to the inside of the, uh, the interior of the bag and not in between the layers. So I will be back with that in just a moment. All right, so yeah, I spent all that time not realizing that that pocket was going to be hidden um, between the between the outside and the lining. <laughs> but that's just how it goes. I mean, you know, I'm human, and uh, usually I you guys don't see you see my finished product. You don't see a live sew along where I make all these mistakes. So um yeah i left them in there because i think it's important for you to know that even experienced sewers have their moments and um, i've got a crazy house today so that's just how it is anyway i fixed it and that's what matters so now we'll get on with the next part all right all right so now i have i'm going to be sewing it down basting it in to the side seams in the inside and not between the layers. So I'm just gonna base that. All right, I'm gonna just sew this down now to the uh, inside. I'm gonna have to just kind of hold it um, because it's no longer separate pieces because I've already sewn the bottoms together, so, but it's doable. Um, 
I believe it's important for me to show you that I make mistakes too, just like anybody else. Especially when I've got kids here and I'm talking to you guys and not paying as much attention as I should. Okay, there's the bottom. And now I'm gonna baste up the up the sides. Okay. All right, so the corners are already done. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew right into those corners. It's gonna be a little different because of the way that I did it, but uh, it's such as life. right into the corner there. Half inch seam allowance. And we'll never even know that I made that mistake. <laughs> it's important when you do make a mistake in sewing, it's important to just fix it and keep going. I mean, that's what you need to do. So, so basically we're gonna go ahead and press those corners out. I'm gonna get rid of these threads that I've picked up from ripping and whatnot. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the exterior of our bag. We're gonna put the exterior of the um, top on there. So remember the magnets are inside, so we're gonna make sure that we're putting the outside right sides together like this. You can kind of fold the interior down in a way if you can. It's hard to do. If you're using faux leather, it's hard to do. If you've got if you're using quilting cotton, it might not be that hard. Okay. You go over here and definitely want to make sure that you move the strap away. be a little tough but all right just go all the way around and clip it and this is where you uh Pray about two things. You pray for the person you're making it for. So in this case, it would be Anna. And you pray that it'll turn out. <laughs> she won't have any more accidents or not paying attention things that have happened to me. I only do those things when I'm not paying attention. Okay, so we're going to take this over to the machine. And remember to only catch the bottom layer, the uh, the exterior, and not the interior. And the interior is the one that has the uh, magnets, so you definitely don't want to catch that layer in there. You fold it out of the way as best you can. All right, so the next few um, I did on time-lapse. 
I thought it was not in time lapse, but it really doesn't matter because um, basically what you're going to see is, okay, what you're going to see is me sewing, and hopefully you're going to get the picture back. What happened? All right. I do not know why that shut off. Anyway, uh, what you're going to see is me sewing and then um, you'll uh, the top to the bottom and then the inside to, to the inside. So it's basically, I don't know what's wrong with my camera here. Okay. All right, I'm going to, you can hear me, I hope. I'm going to go ahead and let you watch me do that, and then um, I will uh, change the battery in my camera. So here you go. All right, I'm back. Had a camera, my ba camera battery uh, lost its power, and I'm not sure why, because I it was brand new when I put it in there. So, um, anyway, uh, you saw me uh, sew the inside top, and now uh, hopefully, let's see. I'm not sure how many, whether you just saw the top or the, or the bottom, but I'm going to play the the sewing that now the exterior. And you can see that is um, goes by pretty fast, but it uh, it's pretty good. Um, let me get to the next one here. Okay, so what I want to warn you about is when you uh, start, when, before you sew the inside part, make sure that this zipper is open because this is how you turn it right side out and get everything in place. So you saw me uh, doing that and it always feels like when you're making a bag, it always feels like Oh, this isn't turning out at all. This is just a big ball of mess because you can't, it's just, you think you're never going to be able to turn it right side out. You just have to go slow and be patient and eventually comes out. And then what you do, the last step then before the strap is that I sewed this shut, the zipper pouch then. That's why we left it open it was so we could turn it at the end. All right. So I, I sewed that shut tuck that baby in and this 
is done except for the straps, okay? So now I'm gonna to talk to you about the straps so again, and then you have a new beautiful bag ready for gifting. All right, here is my finished bag. Just the strap is needed. All right, so I'm gonna take my leather and it calls for 25 inches by two inches for a strap. So I have it folded. I'm just gonna do 12 and a half this way by two. I know that that's two inches. And so I'm just going to, I'm doing this on a fold. So it's two inches by 25. Twelve and a half here. Twelve and a half is right there. All right. All right, I have my twelve and a half inches or twenty five inches. All right, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna turn these just like we did with the connector in the middle and over again. So they're like this. This is gonna be the same thing as when we did the my grandchildren delightfully playing in the other room. <laughs> They're being very patient with me right now. It's better to finger press than to do it with an iron, which is full leather I found. Um, it, you can press it, it doesn't really hurt it that much, but it doesn't really hold what you're trying to do to it either, so. Okay. And we'll take this over and just top stitch it. You've seen me do this on the connector, so I don't feel like you need to really watch that. So I'm not really gonna film that. Um, and uh, then we're just gonna apply those um, lanyard hooks with rivets. And then our bag is done. Okay, now we're gonna, I've top stitched the strap. I'm gonna put the lanyard through it. Fold it over. And this is where, <laughs> they're really having a good time in there. Uh, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and punch the hole for the rivet. Try to get it in the center.
All right, has it gone both through both pieces? I'm just gonna go ahead and get this other side a little bit more. All right, so we've got the lanyard hook, the two pieces, so you can see the hole through there. Make sure you get all the debris out of the hole. It really helps your rivets stick better. All right, there's that. Now I'm gonna put the outside long piece right there. I'm gonna kind of connect the cap to it a little bit, and then I'm gonna put it in the press and press down, rivet applied, okay? And I'm gonna do the same with the other side. And it's probably about one and a half inches that I folded it over, I'm guessing. All right. I'm gonna make my hole. Make sure you get all the debris out of the holes. Put the lanyard hook on. Put the long side in. Uh, I'm making sure that I have the outsides both on the same side. Kind of clamp that other side on there. Push that more in the center. Okay, and press down. All right, and we got our rivets, all right. Got our rivets applied. All right, and there's our strap. I'm just gonna cut these. Uh, okay, what did I do with my scissors? I'm just going to cut these up close to the rivet with a nice clean cut. Attach these bad boys onto this bag and we are done. One Mela bag finished. All done. All right, so that concludes the Mela bag so long, and I'm thrilled with this one. I have a couple more to make. Actually, I might do three more. Um, just have someone else in mind that I might that I think might be blessed by one. So. Uh, there you have it. And this is a great bag for a teenager or uh, an adult. Um, you might want to lengthen the strap if you want to wear it cross body. Uh, you'll probably want to lengthen the strap a little more than that. Because if you wear it cross body, this isn't, isn't long enough, obviously. Okay. So I apologize for being uh, running out of battery, sewing it wrong. You know, I'm just me. That's all. You guys get the real me. So um, I want the videos to be like we're sitting having a cup of coffee today. So I'm just going to be the real me. No matter what, you'll always get the real me in these videos. Um, so this is uh, concludes that sew along. And um, don't get discouraged with the bags because it does feel like especially in the when you have a lot of interfacing and you have to uh, do the top and the bottom connected to the top you have to fold that away it feels really tedious and it is tedious that's the one part that 
can feel just really hard. Um, and then also turning it right side out, um, that can feel real difficult. So just take your time. And if, if it's a whole big ball, don't get discouraged. I really didn't want that to be sped up because I wanted you to... I wanted you to see that you have to struggle to make it happen. Um, so don't be discouraged. Um, put it down if you have to walk away and come back. And if you just pull, you know, quarter of an inch at a time, you'll get it out. I promise. <laughs> but just make sure you leave the zipper open because that would make it really hard if you don't. Okay. That is the mail a bucket. All right. Let's see. Thank you. I think it's an awful cute bag, too. I'm just reading the uh, comments here. Huh. Oh, you're welcome, Kelly. I hope it um, I hope it helps you guys. Um, I hope it helps you to see me make the mistakes, too, because, you know, we're all human. And is this bag 100% perfect? No. Is she going to even know or care? No. She's going to know her Aunt Kim made or something? And... Um, that's all that really, that's all she's going to care about. So, um, I think it's, it's came out really well. I'm glad I redid this zipper thing here though, because that was really bothering me. Um, I actually ended up making a new panel on this because I was not happy with it. And I did baste it, hand baste it, the zipper thing on. So definitely hand baste it. It'll turn out a lot better. Um, in that case, the double-sided tape wasn't great, um, just because it, it didn't, I just had fibers sticking out. It just wasn't good. So, um, wasn't as neat as I like it to be. So I actually redid that front panel, but, um, anyway, that's it. That is the sew along. So I don't know if I will release another video before Christmas. It's only a few days away. I still have a lot of sewing to finish. So I just want to wish you all the best most blessed Christmas. Um, we just saw last night uh, Sidewalk Prophets in concert that was called the Big Family Christmas Concert. And we were there with my daughter and her husband, their four kids, my husband and I, and his sister and um, her husband. And so we had a big family there and we just enjoyed it so much. So if you ever get a chance to go to that, it is really good. And um, they just played some beautiful Christmas music and um, probably one of my favorite Christmas songs ever is the new one, What a Glorious Night. That's by them. If you ever get a chance to hear that song, it's amazing. So I just want to um, wish you all a blessed Christmas. I wish you the peace and joy that comes with knowing Jesus. Um, that might not be a popular thing to say for everybody, but that is what I'm all about. Um, it's going to sneak into my videos and I'm not judgmental. I'm not going to, you know, I, I know everybody thinks how they want to think, um, but that is who I am. So, and I'm the real me. You'll always get the real me. So, um, let's see. Merry Christmas to all of you. And, um, Gosh, you all bless me so much. I feel like I'm going to cry. Isn't that stupid? <laughs> anyway, God bless you all so, so much. Have a blessed Christmas. And if I get a chance to do another video, I will. But if not, I'll see you in between the two holidays. All right? Merry Christmas, guys. Teresa, I hope your um, dad is feeling, doing better and that you get to enjoy Christmas as well. And Brenda, I hope your mother-in-law is better. Um, and uh, have a blessed Christmas. Bye-bye. Happy sewing. I've got a lot of it to do. Bye-bye. <laughs>